into the practice. Um, so what we are going to do today is uh, that I'm going to get the practice deep into now that you know your sadhanas in so many ways, how you're bringing this into life. So now we have come into this place of become that total awareness of with the life. So why I'm saying is about life is people want to find technical aspect of life, logic aspect of life. And when they try to find that, it's just mind find solutions from the old memory. They're just brushing up the old memory in new ways of someone saying it, new ways of someone working on it more glamorous way. So you have to be very careful that the mind itself is the problem creator. And it is totally opposite to what your understanding about life. Because for you to understand life, you only think about the objects of life. If I have a house, I, I will do greater things. If I have achieved this thing, I will. So your understanding about life is only on that object. Because you, mind cannot go into the place of the subject of the, the relationship with these thoughts. So what I'm going to do is after having a lot of uh, chats with some of you lately, I spent some time with uh, Das because I had a medical um, part to go and work it out. Hi, Maria. Are you with me, Maria? Great. I can see Maria, but I hope I can. you can listen to me. Um, so this is very important that, that you get this connection to life properly and become total of that life because your answers to things will come from a much more higher dimension and you will work with it. So instead of knowing the techniques of what, how to breathe, knowing the techniques of how to meditate, knowing the techniques of this and that and verbalizing all your emotions, try to find a way that you merge into the subject of it and stay in there because the mind does not like when you stay in the space of the subject, when you become the breathing, when you become the walking, when you become the working it doesn't like it because it doesn't have the control of you because you are by the cosmic influence of that totality. That's why ancient places have rituals. Why do you, in this Kali Yuga time, it says, uh, chant the word of the God? Why is that? Is that because you're so naive and you're just saying God, God, God? No. Because when you chant things like that or when you're in a ritual, you have become the ritual itself. You have become the, and the mind cannot exist with thoughts and emotions in that space. So it cannot pull you how it used to pull you into that place of suppression or depression or whatever it is. So these are all fancy words just so that people are more fear of that I'm having that, so I need to work on that. So I'm going to do first half an hour a meditation. So, and then you can go into your normal practice and do your asanas. Um, I'm just allowing you to come into that place. And the next half an hour, I will, um, I have been asked and requested that it's great to have a chat with you with certain things that I'm going um, and just as a collective level. So I'll try the next um, 20, 30 minutes to have a chat with you and see whether we can all share some techniques of our own practices. So saying that now, gently, um, uh, Maria, can you hear me? Oh, great. So pick a place where you gently allow yourself to sit. I like the place of sitting because you can elevate your spine and uh, very gently, you can allow things to 
So this merging is not happening just as a personality. So you have to understand. So take that deep breath in and give that elongation to your spine. Shoulders roll back and lift up the space of the heart. Are you with me in this place? That totally you are where you find your not that half-hearted, half-minded, half-confusion. So just in totality, you just witness this person of yours is there, the body of yours is there, and breath of yours is present. Now totally be aware of that breath which is moving in, moving into where now? Just not a logic answer. And then totally in that essential part of the ingredient, you notice it. Now in first, a few seconds or minutes, it feels strange that you're aware of something not moving and you have become totally into that space of the stillness. So for the mind, it is totally, absolutely impossible. Now, Ask the inquiry about what am I aware of or what is this space of aware of? Some of you on the surface, it can be a noise. Don't identify and go further into the detail. For some of you, it can be a feeling. Some of you, it might be just aware of this moment. It is just a pointer. It is just a direction. Now, has this be, has this has to be totally absence of everything? No. But also, is this space that you're aware of has to be presence of something. Just the inquiry. Shoulders roll back and allow the chest to be open. Now become aware of how limited words are. I love that breath to be presence of the presence in this very moment. And be aware of conceptually logic entering into the mind because mind wants a piece of it so that it can do the manipulation. So use this space today. It's a very rare sacred space at this very moment you're creating to be that experience it in the raw form. Nothing to be fine.
So you have become the presence. of something much more in the depth. Now before, if you're refining things, you're still on the surface of the ocean, titles of the ocean, ripple of the ocean. Now you have discovered something about the ocean, the depth. So there is a person that on the surface whatever the experience is but now there is a presence which is aware of the depth and the surface both but this awareness is not interested in anything particular There is no need to be huge or little because this awareness is not interested on being little or being big. This awareness is nothing to compare it with. Presence of the presence. Now you, you got it so far. You're aware of the presence of yourself. It's like the field knows the depth of its field, the magnitude of the field. Now this. So no longer you're trading on the activity of the thinking. So no longer there is duality, all those things that they are naming these days. There is nothing to work in the space of the shadow. because you have become the totality, the essence of who you are. Now, if you try to talk to me about it, you cannot define it in any way. So don't try to. So there is no thinking there is no chatter. It's a loose presence. So this is the place that we say that you have become the divine. You are merging to that space. Normally students are unaware of it. That's why we are bringing this practice into it. Because they are interested in when they give me a problem of the surface of their lives and they want that to be entertained. So they write and bring it to me, these piece of papers, Life is not interested in this life on the spark of you, energy of you, because it works with that field. My tendency is to quite get frustrated about someone else is making your life miserable. But you see so far,
to come back to the practice. Just take another deep breath. So it will bring you from that nature of the surface phenomena into the presence of the presence. If you surface, every teacher wants to teach you something. When you're in the depth, you have become. But not your personality, not your gender can go there. Nothing superficial can go there. Nothing to do with your external appearance. Nothing to do with your mannerism. Nothing to do with your story. That conventional usage no longer trade. Gently, if you need to adjust the body, please adjust the body and come, come that deep sense. So now you're not reacting onto the sense perceptions, emotions, feelings, thoughts, others. So you're not swimming in the current of this surface. Now the fight with the world, the way you perceive the world, where you perceive the good world, bad world, event, people, situations, relationships. Now the next time when you need to interpret these things about the you know, you will catch yourself doing this. So the moment is not distorted by perceptions. And the conscious is conscious about it. No longer this disease is spread wider of this superficiality. So your urge to exhaust yourself with the external is now limiting. Now the depth has the spaciousness and it doesn't allow you to bring any superficiality into it. Now take that other breath in and breath out and release all the shackles of this person, personality. That dressing up every moment, dressing up every day, we are in different masks. Conditioning of all that is now just you're aware of it, it releasing by itself. Because you're having a glimpse of the nakedness of your totality. We call this a Tory, little awakenings.
This happens in accidents for people. This happens in total mm, surface failures. People go, it's supposed to be alive. But openness happens. The sense of liveness in totality. Person. Nothing matters more than that. The opening into the death. Now just observe your ego might be very interested in writing about this, talking about it, working on this or that. Now you could see that personalities slowly want to win again, so it comes back. Now if this has happened to you, just be aware of it. And become totality by a little bit of spaciousness. Now, do you need a thought? To experience this totality, do you need thoughts? Just a moment of aha. Uh -huh. Keep the language out. It's a trade of the mind. Keep the visuals out. It's a trade of the mind. Because I worked with the space of the aged care. I see this happens to people when they are close to death. But suddenly, come into that openness. But you have this blessing. You don't have to come into that space to understand this. This is the mystery when you are totally in the magic of the space of the light. So you don't have to work with your past lives, future lives, but totally connect into this. Spaciousness in that totally Now you could see there's no attachment to this or that or this versus that. A lot of people love to live on the mind activity. It's like their bank account. They don't want to empty. They like trading. Like a trade addicted to trading, mind is addicted to activity of thoughts. And falling emotions. Now, detachment to this is spaciousness. Merge with it into the breath, whatever it's in this very moment. Whatever experience that you have, there is space around it. So now 
once the things were in ice, now it's almost a space evaporating of your show of your story. Not only of what's happening externally and internally, you're aware of yourself. There's a different sense of peace Now, if a thought comes, you are not totally drawn into every thought. You investigate on the thought with space, spaciousness, and in totality. So we are conscious of this body, conscious of this mind, but without any attachment. You are conscious of what is rising, what is disappearing, what is appearing, what is disappearing. You with me? Just look for this moment. Now it's a wave appears in you whatever you're calling it. Now you have a space, you can see that it, how long it will be there. And comes disappearing, then comes rolling in. So they are not coming. It's not that they are staying only if you entertain that. But it is also not separate from the consciousness of the presence. So don't try to get rid of it. Whatever you don't feed no longer comes back. Because they all love getting fed because you used to feed them. They are ultimately a temporary forms in the space of emotion, image, thought. So your consciousness can still come as object whatever appears in your consciousness. But there is no confusion. No, we are not giving energy to 20 images. You are present with the image that comes or the thought that comes. You have become so that present is the energy the sacred, your commitment into that sacredness. Life is not interested in your mind life. It needs the frequency of the present vibration. If you want a spark in life, you have to have that present electricity.
where it is new. In the space of the totality. Now you're sitting with a spine. Whatever you do is in totality. You don't give and think twice about it. You don't love and think twice about it. You don't move out from things and think twice about it. There is a totality engaged in the total. In that engagement. Now, the spaciousness is of an art of a experiencing. Or whether you go for a run, become the run. Walk, become the walk. Breathing becomes the breath. So every activity performed in this presence is a sacred activity. Don't think about health. Be with the first, first step of becoming. Use everything like sacred. If you're working, become the work. Don't think what time you're finishing it. And see the changes will happen in your life. become the totality of that. Practice is a remembrance of that. Remember you to become that. Everything will follow you. You don't have to follow every thought about it, every wish about it. Because there's a mystery of sacred electricity happening this very moment. When you go into thoughts, you have gone on to opposite of the mystery, the zone of thinking, personality. What do people think about me? What do that person? Take that breath. And allow that energy which is the present moment energy is. Remember every time when you are too much thinking, thought is the trap. Thought sees life by creating it more. Energy is depleted. The next time that you're having a shower, become that space. Become totally. Not what I'm going to do before and after. By doing this, you're breaking the patterns that you're trapped in saying that this person did this to me, that person did that to me, and I will not allow them to do that. They're chanting the story. Release. By observing it, you're ignoring the mind pools that you're used to. When the mind do not get energy, 
you are keeping in the person. It cannot function the personality anymore. Now it doesn't have the energy for the thought of depression, thought of duality, thought of winning, thought of success, thought of healing. It is now sparked with the energy, the depth of the healing, the present of the healing, presence of the presence. In that spark, it shows you the way. It will answer a lot of your questions because it's the spark. Now, there is no struggle between dualities. This happens to people vibrating in that space of the moment. Whether you are an artist, whether you ride a bike, whether you dance, whether you do yoga, the grace is that energy is used in the personality of uh, destroying that and become. Because everybody wants to be clever with this. There's nothing to do with the mind. Let this meditation take over and let this person move in a new aspect of your being, dimension of his life. All structures are now no longer needed, they are breaking. There is elongation of a structure to align you with that totality. That is a creation, that is a preservation, destructive of the old. Now it will unveil game of thoughts. It's no longer. It will unveil past traumas. But you're not interested in. Once you have the master key, you don't have to have open little doors. Every doors, every door get opened by it. Every question is answered by it. Become the new version of you. You're spending all your energy into the old version and all trauma and all disputes of you. Let it all be burnt. Fast is no longer serving. Moment, drop that trap of your mind. Doubt. What if? Let this energy that you are breathing in this preciousness of totality Beats your heart, beat your cells.
You don't have to think about it. That energy is actually working. Let it guide you. Thoughts only can guide thoughts. It continues to bring small happiness and a permanent suffering in that space of thoughts. You with me now. This energy is supporting, helping you right now. Mind is no longer the boss. When you come into that space, take another deep breath in space of gratitude. Arms raised onto the crown, palms onto the namaskar position. Sense of sound. We come to palatine. Namaste. So now, if you um, now that we have cleansed the page of your personality, you may not have questions for me because I think they all have been answered, but I'm going to if you have a question for me about anything, we can have a little discussion about it. So, um, this week I have seen Das, and thank you, Das, for dropping some beautiful gift for me. Uh, so, I think I am going to ask. How is Matt? <laughs> um, so Matt, what's your journey in the present moment? Um, letting go of yeah, that individual and uh, and the mind and body noise. Yes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the that more universal experience. Um, yeah, and it uh, is, is a lot, uh, maybe more compassion. Yeah, compassion for uh, the moment and uh, allowing for space for things to evolve as they are uh, possibly meant to without interfering or interpreting. Amazing, amazing, because the map I knew is very driven, very focused. Uh, but this is a different level of a realization, much more beyond the driven and the focus. By allowing that spaciousness of things to take its own course, but your electricity of life has given you a better spine 
open your heart more into things that is as it is. So this is a great realization for all of us. I'm very grateful about that. Now I'm going to ask about Rebecca and Das. How's the practice been for you both? Highly beneficial for creating space to be able to open your heart and speak your truth, definitely. Um, because yeah, being caught up in all the external things, it uh, you can lose sight of that um inner peace and harmony and and uh, things for you to grow. Um, to yeah, as Matt said before, just letting things happen rather than being forceful, and uh, yeah, creating that space and opening different dimensions. We have seven dimensions and trying to work on each state and each one of those is um yeah full time job mm -hmm. and then just existing as well and allowing the day to rise and be a part of it without controlling it is a, a nice way uh, the mornings and the evenings are definitely a nice time just to uh create that space to just feel the uprising and the downturning of the day and and nature itself I think immersing yourself in nature and that's been a part of the practice as well. And uh, yeah, creating that beautiful space for me. For me, it's yeah. about, it's learning to be present. I'm very much a person who has lived in the past or I've always lived in the future. Um, so my practice for me is all about is giving myself the time to be present. Um, that's been a really big step, step for me. And yeah, um, I suppose just to give time to myself, I I care for so many, like I care for my mum and um, I care for my family. So it's taking off all the masks and learning, um, I suppose, learning to love me and give me the care I need. Um, it was a big step even just to give myself this hour yeah. to, to, do, to do yoga <laughs> and one hour a week and just be, be present and in it and take all those layers off and reveal who I, who I really am. Um, mm, the authentic self. Yes. Bathing in the present moment in that nakedness is very important that I no longer have to do or to act or behave in a certain way to please the other, but, I want to be in the presence of pleasing that moment with, within me. It's very important realization, Beck. I'm wishing you so well in this journey with um, taking care of uh, people with certain levels of difficulties that they're going through life. But I always say uh, the nature has to be nature too. Care has to be cared too, because otherwise you can get lost yourself in caring for others and totally lose yourself in the emotion of that because you're in the end you're not battling cancer you're battling emotions that mm -hmm. also are coming up and they no longer want it to be poked but you get poked by it too if you have not dealt with it so you have to be very careful of this journey of healing and helping others because you might struggle a bit, but if that struggle, then visit that space of that spaciousness that you were explaining to me, which is great, and be with it. It might not give you a big answer for it, but it is the master key. It, it opens up everything. Mm -hmm. But people don't know that when opening up a lot of things, also you have to have a discipline, how to be open to the openness of everything without the judgment, without the fight, without the screen, without yeah. this condition love, because that's my mother, this is my lover, this is my this. So it's very important that you're coming into this realization. Good for you. I will visit you both very soon and your lovely son. Um, and it's great having that chat with you both. Now I'm going to go to Maria and Sage.
I can't hear you, Maria. Maybe is that can you hear me now? Working? Yes, can, I can hear you now. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm battling body and recovery still, and exactly what you just said, actually, um, wanting to be more open mm -hmm. and exploring what is going on every single day in my body but also then being openness to what that openness brings. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. You, 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 um, you're like a mirror for me because you're working with your physicality is absolutely admired even when I have hard days of, um, because I recently had my uh, medicine being changed and I totally went into a very bad place with it um, um, it's um, very much debilitating the ability to even conversations and all that but when I think about it it gives me that breath of fresh air what am I even complaining about it and to get out of it and being in that space of totality so um, you guys have been amazing structures and pillars of um, this um, community to build up that space. Thank you again for you and Sage. And now, where is Sylvia hiding? I think she's gone. Ah, there you are. You have immersed into the nature, and I only saw a monster plant, but you're <laughs> appearing from the plant. Great to see you. Good to see you, Chana, and all. I think um, all of the um, the people before me captured what I feel as well. Um, yeah. Um, yes, caring for others, caring even for our pets, kind of take a lot of energy. So just um, yeah, just trying to um, be in this moment and cherish this moment. And I, I totally agree with. Um, with Rebecca and Maria, this is like this is a very precious hour for me in the week. I try, um, like always, I try to do this hour because I feel this is the only hour that I have for myself to connect with myself to do that kind of like even with the meditation. Like you don't have that much time with with work and with everything. So I'm so grateful um, for this hour uh, for, for you and Das for offering it. Yes. Thank really, you so really much. Funny. Very generous and um yeah yeah love you both guys and love you too and love you um Matt love you Rebecca Dad and your beautiful son Maria and Sage so I'm so glad because I had some uh, messages and have some conversations that um so that's why I bought the meditation because I know that your physical practice can work on yourself, whether you dance, whether you shower, whether you do gardening, that is the asana. So I thought I will bring this meditation, which is great for that moment that you are totally immersed in that totality and you're creating that fire that burns uh, the limitation of ourselves. And we become that we are beyond these bodies and our minds. And that's a great space that we have sparked today. And we will continue this electricity of this collective community. Awakening does not happen to happen in big numbers, but these small levels of individuals who are going through life uh, can also spark that energy. And it is more powerful than a sun. And we need those energies that are in these times of Kali Yuga. So namaste to all and big hugs to you all. Love you very much. I'll see you next week. Thank you.